This is Saxon Algebra, Lesson 36, page 164. Contrived problems. Let me tell you what a contrived problem is. A contrived problem is a problem that may appear as though you can do some canceling, but you cannot. All right? But there are problems that you can. Okay, can, can I take these B's and cancel them? No. Why? Because the terms are added. Is there anything I can cancel here? The B's. Yes. The B's, because they are only multiplied. Is there anything I can cancel in these terms? No. 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 I cannot cancel this X because <laughs> it is added to Y. So do not cancel unless the terms are multiplied. Now, if I would have had... Can, can I? Now I can because this entire term is multiplied. Do you see that? No. Do you see the differences in these? Okay, that's going to be important because in this lesson, we are going to multiply rational expressions and we're going to divide rational expressions. And we're going to have to cancel terms that are like. But everything is going to be multiplied. All the terms are going to be multiplied. All right. So look at example 36.1. So this is going to involve several concepts. Some that you are already familiar with. This looks daunting, doesn't it? Just a little. Just a little. But it's not. The first step to solving this problem or simplifying this multiplication is to factor each term. We're going to factor this numerator, factor this numerator, Factor this numerator, factor this numerator. Everything is multiplied. So what are factors of x squared plus x minus 12? Okay, 4 and 3. So which one's positive, which one's negative? Negative 3. Negative 3, positive 4. All right, what are factors of x squared minus x? Minus 20. It is 4 and 5. Which one's positive? Which one's negative? The five. Negative. The four. 5 is negative because we have a negative 1. Everybody following? All right. What is this numerator factor? 5 and 7. Which one's positive? 7. 7 is positive. The 5 mm -hmm. is negative. Are we factoring too fast for some of you? Okay. Mm -mm. This denominator. What are factors? 7 and 2 and both are positive. Now notice, all of these terms are multiplied. So we can only simplify terms that are multiplied. So if I have a factor in the numerator that's also in the denominator, I'm canceling them out. Look, my x plus 4 is canceled. Because the entire term is in the numerator and the denominator. Does x minus 3 cancel? Does x minus 5? Yes. Look, everything's multiplied, right? Really, I could have just because it's multiplied. Is x plus 7 canceled? Yes. 
Yes. So what am I left with? X minus 3 over X plus 2. When you multiply what seems to be a more complex term, you simply end up with X minus 3 over X plus 2. All right, so I'm going to tell you something that you'll have to know next year, all right? When I can cancel terms in the numerator and denominator, that is where there are holes in a graph. So a hole in a graph would be like we're graphing it and we get to negative four and there would be a hole. It's undefined. Because at x equals negative four, the denominator equals zero. Anything divided by zero is undefined. Okay? All right, so you're gonna factor and then cancel. Make sense? All right, this one's, little marker. This one's hard to erase. I know. The pink one always has The Yes, typically, yeah, my, the, the ones that aren't, the colored ones are much easier typically. Okay, which I'm gonna move to. All right, now look at example two and tell me what is different about this. And what? Division. It's division. It's division of? Which means you multiply by the reciprocal. Correct, because we do not divide fractions, do we? It, isn't this what this is? This is just a polynomial, it's, it's a rational expression. We do not divide fractions. We multiply by the reciprocal. So the only different step is I'm going to leave the first one as it is. I'm not going to divide. I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. <sighs> right, because that's what you did. Pre-algebra, algebra. Algebra one. Okay, now we're going to factor. All right, David, let's, you help me factor this numerator. All right, so David will help me factor this numerator. Audrey, this denominator. All right? Numerator, Audrey, the denominator. Micah, second numerator. Mary Frances, second denominator, okay? All right. All right, so David is first. I know what the first term in all of them is. <laughs> all right, David, factors of eight such that we add them and it's negative six. Exactly, good job. Denominator, Audrey. Okay, we'll come back to you. We'll give you a minute. Factors of negative 28, add them positive three. Micah, did I give you this numerator? Yeah. Or did I give you, okay, what is it? Uh, Factors of negative 35, add them and it's positive two. Oh, they give me the top one. This oh, one. That one right there. Okay. Oh, that would be uh, negative five and positive seven. Correct. Uh, Are you have it? Audrey? Negative four and positive seven. Negative four, positive seven. Mary Frances? Um, X minus five, X plus three. X minus five, X plus three. Does X minus two cancel? Mm. X minus four? Yes. X minus five? X plus seven? So we're left with x minus 2 over x plus 3. What if every term would have canceled out? Well, it would be 1. 
Got it? Yes, ma'am. So is this how they're, all the problems are going to be? Or yes. Yes. Really? Yes. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. All right, we'll do the last example. So this is the last lesson that is on your test. So the next two lessons won't be on your test. Mm -hmm. However, as you work the homework, you are reviewing. All right. <clears throat> Let's look at the last example. We're not going to divide. We're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So the problem is division. I'm going to multiply and I'm going to write the reciprocal of what's there. All right. All right, Emma, you do this numerator. Um, Lily, do this denominator. Lydia, do the numerator. The denominator doesn't need to no. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I can't remember who I told what, but anyway. I know this one is x plus 3. Who did I give this first numerator to? Me. Okay. What is it? Uh, x plus 3, x minus 2. x plus 3, x minus 2. Very good. Lily, did I give you? I gave you the denominator, yes. Uh, so first I factored out an x. And yep. Then it's x minus 7, x plus 5. See what she did? She factored out an x. So look and see if there's something you can factor out of every term. All right, Lydia, the numerator. Is it negative 7 times 0? No. Is there anything I can factor out of both terms? Oh, I added zero. You don't have so to. I thought we had to have like. You. Okay. So x and x minus. Seven. That's exactly right. You overthought it. Which is what I typically do, actually. All right. Does x plus three cancel? X plus 3, it cancels. X minus 2? No. no. X? Mm -hmm. Yes. X minus 7? Yes. yes. We're left with X minus 2 over X plus 5. All right. <clears throat>